The 10 trotters and drivers for the World Cup Amateur Driving Championship. Eastern Division, second leg, one OB Ben. Owned by Ruben and Wexstein with Ken Wexstein, two. He's a pickpocket. Owned by Joseph Ciafatelli with Barry Farber, three. Day of Doom. Owned by Tom Corelli with George Newell Jr., four. KW's champion, driven and owned by Stephen Markoff, five. Will Do Hanover. Owned by Joe's Pockets with Teresa Donnelly, six. Nick. Sister, owned by Lynn Stratton with Alan Schwartz. Seven, Chad Mann, driven and owned by George Casal. Eight, a seafood kid, owned by and driven by Anthony Veruso. Nine, KG's Renegade with Julianne Bobby owning and Scott Wogan driving. And ten, Marshall No, owned by the Midwood Stable, Gary Barberry. Exacta, try, one dollar pick eight. Nine and ten begin in the second row. Five minutes till post. Here they come. Breaking off was two. He's a pickpocket, then losing it as well as seven Chad Man. Two and seven made breaks. Out of the pack, KW's champion. How do you avoid trouble? Get in front of it. On the outside, Nikki's sister is chasing early and now is broken as well. Nikki's sister has lost it. It's Day of Doom picking up second, moving up one notch after the break. And it's Will Do Hanover away in third now with all the happenstance. The Seafood Kid is fourth. Then we move back to Marshall No in fifth. Back trotting is Nikki's sister. Then comes KG's Renegade, who also stepped off momentarily. It's another five back to Chad Man who's one of the breakers. Then comes he's a pickpocket and breaking early was OB Ben. So five stay trotting and they're the first five and a quarter, 30 and three fifths. KW's champion out doing his thing from week to week and trying to make that thing last all the way. In second is the day of doom. Another three lengths back to Will Do Hanover on the end. So far in the end is the seafood kid. Outside after the break, Nikki's sister. And Marshall Noah's has come alive at the half. And KW's champion using his best weapon at the half and 101 and two fifths. Trotting their way around the clubhouse turn. And it's KW's champion carrying the blue, black, and white. Not of McNichol, but of Markoff leading it two and a half lengths. Day of Doom is second. Three more lengths to Will Do Hanover in third. On the inside, Seafood Kid back in the fourth. Nikki's sister never truly recovered from that break, and then a wide Marshall no. Rolling to three quarters. It's just a question of endurance now. Can KW's champion last on the lead? It's got four to play with over the day of doom. And it's Will Do Hanover, three quarters in 131 and two. Around the bend. So with this big lead is KW's champion getting away now solidly from the day of doom. And it's Will Do Hanover. Out now is the seafood kid. Meanwhile, KW's champion is shutting the door. In second is day of doom on the inside. Will Do Hanover, but it matters not. In front by a whole lot is KW's champion with a needless whip to the bike cruising home second will do Hanover over day of doom in two two and four Overcomer out of Sharon's tradition by Cornstalk. Trained by Tony Salerno for owner driver Stephen Markoff of Denville.